Welcome everybody. I've gotten quite a few questions about my instruments. So I'm going to do a little demonstration of some of my other instruments here in this video. First off we have my balalaika. This instrument is sort of a kind of Russian national symbol almost. This, this instrument is actually made for the 1980 Olympics. It has a promotional sign on it. But this is actually a pretty high quality balalaika. There are, there are those that are cheaper than this one. We'll get to it later. But this is my this is my main balalaika. This is uh, one of the nicest balalaikas I've I've played because I've only played cheap pieces of shit anyway. But this one is slightly better. First of it's all wood. Second, it's actually pretty good wood. It hasn't broken. I hasn't refitted it or anything because it was really good just as it was. Now the tuning of this instrument is a little controversial because. Lots of people will tell that the balalaika should be tuned with two strings tuned to the same note. This is actually a thing that got started with those goddamn uh, Soviet balalaika orchestras, uh, which are not the traditional way of playing the instrument. Of course, I'm not really playing the traditional repertoire either, but there are probably very many ways to tune it, and there's no rule that says that they should be tuned that way. Actually, the way, the way that I tune it is pretty common, even in, uh, I think, not the generic uh, by the book but like orchestras but there are plenty of professional virtuoso plays we use for its tuning then there's an actual pitch range of the tuning that's pretty controversial as well i use this right now because it just because it just seems like a tuning that goes well on this instrument i actually used to tune lower until i discovered that you can actually tune it because high and it sounds much better because the string tension was so low and the body doesn't really reproduce those low notes. I use standard nylon strings, just the three st highest strings from a nylon string guitar set. You can of course use steel strings but I wouldn't want to. The, the, the action of this instrument is very high. You can change the bridge of course but then it won't play alright. You have to have high action. This has nothing to do with the balalaika itself as a, com as a concept. It has, it has more to do with how these instruments are made. I mean, the, the fretboard is completely flat to the to the body, which looks a bit strange and feels a bit strange. But there are those that have real fretboards, just like guitars. But I think this is a usable instrument the way it is. It's I don't play guitar, of course, but because much because of the string spacing. But this is nice because it has a string spacing. I can handle it just. It's just a really simple and uncomplicated all-around instrument that I think more people should learn to play. I mean, you see a lot of these balalaikas around here in Sweden, but almost nobody ever plays one. But I think it's a nice instrument that could be used for a lot of things. It's, I mean, you, you can do some basic shorts like... But you can also play some surprisingly classical sounding... Yeah, I can do some other demos later. <sighs> there are larger balalaikas, of course. I have an altar which I'm really dissatisfied with. I feel like it's a much lower quality than this one, and I never, never really got me to play successfully, so I'm not going to demonstrate it today, because I also think it works alright. The action is very high no matter what you do. You can't set it any lower, because then it will rattle and... Yeah. But uh, there are some real possibilities to this instrument, as I said, you, can, you can't play very high on it because it's very uncomfortable to play in the highest position, but you can use them a bit, it's like...
I also do some preparations on this instrument, pre prepared, but like uh, you can use something like this, just a simple metal <laughs> stick, uh, place it over here, you get some really curious sounds. differences in tone depending on where exactly you place these things to. Yeah, that's pretty much expensive. I also find another nice effect you can get by using a slide in the right hand like this. You can get a kind of wow sound. I forgot exactly how I held it. This was it, I think. can't get wow on an acoustic instrument. I don't think you can do is use the second bridge like this to divide each string into two. Yeah, so this is an instrument that you should really consider trying out if you play if you play bass or even guitar you might you might like getting one of these because they are very versatile instrument and it's just the limitations I think which is one of the, in the most interesting aspects of it just having three strings it's, I mean it's it's different from something with more strings and I think this is something that you'll get more respect from players, I think. <laughs> 